So I heard you guys like uh, choppy type stuff. Is that true? Well, if it is, you're in luck today. So I got something uh, I've been meaning to get around to, but we're gonna look at another one of the Work Tough Gear blades. And this one is something. <laughs> it, it is choptastic, but we're gonna get to see a couple other things too. So we are going to look at the Nomad designed by Zeke Minacho, the guy that almost won Knife for Death. But I'm sure he was cheated somehow. At least he, at least he made it there. <laughs> but uh, this is one of two blades. This is the one that's out. And this is a really freaking, this was like the first one that I got when I started getting some of the work tough gear ones. And I'm like, holy cow, this is, this is something cool. But wait, there's more. Sorry, I don't have the stock sheath with me. What I do have though, is a custom sheath from Atlas Sheath Designs, which is pretty freaking amazing that he made for this. And maybe just, you know, for giggles, we'll throw something else up here alongside this just for a size comparison. So if you wanna know more, take this first look at the Nomad, then don't go away. Let's actually start off with this uh, custom sheath. I had a couple uh, Atlas sheath design sheaths and they're always really freaking nice. He had one of these, I had one of, I had a Nomad coming in, so I'm like, hey, go ahead and uh, whip me up one of these things. Uh, half inch ferro rod holder. And then the way he did this one is it's it does have a, a leg strap if you're wearing it on your belt, or you can detach this part up here and just use this to pack mount it and then the belt loop is pretty neat this is uh what is i don't know what kind of part this is it's made in the usa though but he made it so that it can be a quick detach if you want to take it off your belt so this part can stay on your belt and now i'll help you take the, the knife off because it is pretty pretty big beefy beefy blade but he makes some really good stuff. And he's starting to get a lot of the uh, work tough type stuff too, so definitely check him out. So let's go ahead and look at this bad boy. All right. So as soon as I saw this thing, like this is, what do I, I have four? I want to say four work tough gear knives now. Not including the three Dev X's. But this one, just just when I was looking at it before I even got it in my hand, I'm you know, I'm no choppers and I'm like, ooh, that's gonna be pretty freaking good. Uh, love the handle. They do have like some aftermarket scales for it, which they did send some, but I just happened to like the ones that were already on it. So I just left those on. So the handle is very comfortable and it allows plenty of purchase. Choil is nice if you are going to do some close up work. Kind of balances out the blade quite a bit, is not uncomfortable at all. This is a little bit thicker. Uh, so this is around a quarter inch thick piece of stock. This has the acid washed finish which is pretty cool it actually says something on here about that somewhere SK 85 just like DevX now I don't know if maybe mine just needed to be sanded down or whatnot but just to show you so that's what it usually looks like you know when I see that finish 
It's a good thing I grabbed the wrong one because this is what I brought with me. So there's a uh, DevX, the same acid splatter, whatever finish. But it's like uh, hasn't been sanded down or something, which I could do myself, but it kind of gives you an idea of like a sanded down splatter finish versus one that really hasn't been. And since we got that here, this will just kind of give you an idea of the size range between the two. But we're not looking at this one today, so I'll put it away. Nice belly, nice polished edge. The fit and finish on these things are always excellent. Every one that I've seen so far. Uh, another one that I've got to work in here is John from Wingman 115's knife. The Mount Laguna. It's the smallest one that I have. I always, I always say it looks like a uh, JX5 fetus. Like if you got a, a mama JX5 pregnant and you pulled the fetus out, it would look like this. I don't know. My brain's being stupid today. Just ignore me. <laughs> But this Nomad is definitely a beast of a chopper. It definitely freaking feels good. So I wanted to give this first look, go out here, take some test wax with it, because I haven't actually had a chance to do that yet. And I like to get that type of stuff on camera. There are plenty of videos already out there from people that have reviewed this and tested it. So definitely, if you're interested, you know, put that into the search box on YouTube and watch some of the other videos. And then we'll have like a more in-depth one when we do the part two. But just first impressions, especially this uh, being the first one that I actually got in my hand. I was like, oh yeah, made the right choice with mine on the company because everything I've seen so far has been phenomenal. All right, so let's go out and uh, wax some stuff with this. Right, this will be another good test also because it's not going to just be a solid, solid target. There's going to be some give in it. You know, it was a little bit more solid before the, uh, the Puzon Bowie <laughs> got its teeth into it. But again, when there's a little bit of give, it just shows what the blade does. Jesus. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna stop on that because I don't have any uh, safety glasses and this thing is just like pummeling me with wood chips. But yeah, it's a little choppy. I'm just letting the tool do the work. Plus this thing's bouncing all over the place. But yeah, just to feel it, it feels really good. And it's definitely got some heft and weight to get that done. So let's split a, it's not a big log or anything. I want to see how it feels with this choil here. If I start bleeding all over the place, it's because I smacked my finger a minute ago. <laughs> I'll be okay, don't worry. I don't need to set up a GoFundMe or anything. It's first time doing this here. Just trying to feel it out. First time use is fun to get on camera. Now, normally I would just grab John's knife and do this, but what fun would that be? What if it's the only tool you got? Yeah, I'd rather use a smaller knife for this, but I can do it. Just with 
no real practice. Smaller knife's obviously going to be easier, but make do with what you got, right? This thing does feel, this does feel like a fun tool. Definitely in the category of blades that I really enjoy. Because I hate axes. And I know that makes me wrong, but I don't care. I really don't. I don't. Sorry. This is a fun blade. So I'm going to figure out uh, some bigger things to do with this when we do the less talky round two. But I, I just want to get out here and give this a little test run, see how it felt. This is a, wick this is a wicked ass blade, no doubt about it. Since they're all out here, get a quick shot of the three work tough gear. This one, got to squeeze that one in here soon too. But the uh, Nomad is the, the heaviest one out of the bunch. Just going off of memory, I want to say it was about a pound and a half. So definitely a chopping beast. So here you go folks, first look, you know, intro video on the Nomad with also a little guest appearance from our buddy over at Atlas Sheaths who makes awesome sauce stuff. This knife will return as will the other ones you've seen and for the people that like to hammer me in the comments about the selection uh, I work with what I can get but that being said I did order some stuff from DLT the other day. I'm like, you know what I haven't done in a while? And it just so happened they had something new I wanted. Ordered a couple cold steel knives. So those are coming up. Uh, a bunch of other different things. Mixing it up. But it's the, the, the good stuff that I have right now to look at just happens to be work tough gear. So very, very happy to be checking those out. Lots of good stuff coming from them. Lots of good designers. So it's a really good fit. We, need, we actually needed a company like this that can make stuff like right in that sweet spot between like the regular production stuff and the, the higher end, more expensive stuff. And honestly, I think what I've seen so far, you're definitely getting your money's worth with them. So that's that. And I'll throw a pick up on the screen. I don't have one of these. I don't have one of these. But uh, Zeke's also got a smaller one. I want to say it's the Nomad. Don't. I'm off the top of my head. Is it the no, Nomad Camp Knife? Shoot, I don't remember. But uh, it looks pretty cool too. It's a little bit, a little bit different, but definitely uh, you see the same design influence. It's, it's a smaller one pretty cool so there's that so I have links to these in the description box below uh, these have actually come up a couple times for sale and I've even seen them on Amazon here and there you know the batch runs that they do uh, sometimes they can go pretty quick I do know off the top of my head I want to say we settled on 300 for my knife when it gets done and that'll be like on DLT. All right guys, Chris from Prepare My 101. Thanks for watching, be sure to click like, share and subscribe. I'll be back with another video here soon, so see you then.